It's JC at Motorcycle Superstore with the Bell RS1 Corsa helmet. This design is the Corsa design. The RS1 is available in lots of different styles. You can check those out on the different Motorcycle Superstore pages. Now this helmet is a street bike helmet. It's designed to fit in the middle of Bell's range. Above it, you'll find the Star helmet. You can see it behind me on the red box. That's more of a racetrack oriented helmet. Below it, you'll find the Vortex. This one falls right in the middle. The RS1 is designed for a street bike rider who maybe goes to the track occasionally for a track day. So it does have some of the features for racetrack use, but it's also designed primarily for the street. The shell on this helmet is made from Kevlar and fiberglass. It's a composite shell. The shell is manufactured in three different sizes. So it's going to fit your head based on what you order and it should be very comfortable. It's rated for DOT and Snell safety ratings, the 2010 Snell rating. So it's got some safety behind it. This helmet uses a unique ventilation system which immediately catches your eye. It's fairly sleek except for on the back, it contains this ridge. This is part of the velocity flow design. And what this does is as air comes across, if you're in a tuck, it's an aerodynamic and very stable design, but as air comes across, this creates a low pressure zone underneath the air becomes very turbulent. And what that does is it creates a draw of the hot air outside of the helmet and pulling it away from your head. On the intake side, you find that it has multiple vents and all of these are adjustable. There's a ridge here across the top. This is an adjustable tab across the brow, sort of a midline. This is adjustable as well. And also down here on the chin bar. So you can adjust how much air is coming in and where it's coming from. Now something to note, in addition to the vents that are built into the shell, it also allows for some venting through the face shield. The face shield is pretty unique. This is what they call their Nutrifog 2. It's an anti-fog and anti-scratch shield, and it's also UV resistant, so it should last over time. Now, what makes it unique is that it is a three-stage or three-mode system. You have your standard mode, which is the friction mode, as you would expect, it works like usual. It's sort of a ratcheting design. You can feel there's a little tension on it so that you can adjust how high it is as you go down the road. Also, if you want to lock it down for a more secure fit, on this tab here, you click it into the lock mode and it doesn't come up. Now you can yank it up if you want to. You can see it takes considerably more effort. Bell says that's about 10 pounds of pressure, but that way if you get in a situation where you freak out and you want to yank it up, you can. But it does lock down for an extra security fit. Also, to get back to the venting thing we were talking about, is what they call their crack mode. And as it sounds, it creates a small crack underneath the seal here, which allows just a little bit of air to get up underneath, maybe unfog things if you're having a real hard time with that, or if you just want some fresh air to your face. Now, as far as the hinge system goes, this is pretty slick. I really like this because it's very simple. It's called their click release system. And what you find with this is that it's extremely straightforward. Raise it up into the raised position, and on this tab here, you yank it down with your finger, and the thing pops straight out. As far as getting it back in, you can either release the tension and push it down as well, or just click it into place, and you're done. So, once that's off, you can adjust this. You can buy separate shields. You can get a smoke finish, mirrored finish, uh, something to suit whatever your riding needs are, but the nice thing is it's very quick to switch out and very easy to switch out. So we can see in here a little bit better. This is a removable interior liner. It's a four-piece system. There's two cheek pads, the main liner across the top, and it also has this neck skirt, which I really like. This is going to help keep a more secure fit, keep cold air from getting up underneath. It's also going to help keep things even that much more quiet inside the helmet. All of this is removable if you like, so you can take it out and wash it. The cheek pads use snaps, they pop right out. As far as the main liner, it snaps in the rear and has a tab system across the front. It's got padded strap here on the bottom to secure the helmet. Also uses their D-ring system, which is really nice. First off, the D-ring is contoured, so it's easy to get the strap in and out. But the super nice feature is what they call Magnifusion technology. Fancy word for magnets, basically, that thing just slaps on with the use of a magnet system. You don't have to fiddle around with that little snap. So this is super nice, and it just makes living with the helmet that much easier. If you're in the market for a street bike helmet and you're one of those guys who wants to dabble in track day use, this is exactly what's been designed from Bell for you. Mid price point helmet, so it's fairly affordable, 
and you're going to find lots of nice features like we've covered. Check out all the different styles and sizes. There's lots of different looks for this helmet. You can find them at MotorcycleSuperstore.com.